Hello, it is Ipsy Choice Day. Don't forget to log on and see what choices they've made for you. Today they've picked for me this Foxy Bay 12-in-1 Daily Leave-In Mask. It's a $16 value. I like hair masks, so I don't mind trying this. However, their next choice, this $28 Rose Quartz Stone. Um, yeah, if I wanted those, I would have already gotten them because they're like $3 everywhere. I know because I picked them up in the BoxyCharm add-ons. And yeah, claiming this is a $28 value, that just seems a little crappy of them. At least it's better than the plastic one they gave people last month. So on to the choices I actually get to make for myself. They give me six. A few of them are not bad. But come on, who's tired of seeing completely nude palettes with one splash of blue and having them act like that's something new and inventive? Um, a hairbrush, a $30 hairbrush. Um, okay. This is a face exfoliator. Again, in the summer, I'm going to do less exfoliating. I need as much dead skin cell layers protecting my skin from extra sun damage as I can handle. This will be my picked item, a vitamin C moisturizing serum. At least it's in a pump bottle and won't be exposed to air as much. This is a $38 hand cream. I hope it's good. A lot of people do like these Wonder Beauty gold eye masks. I don't see much difference in them other than that they stay put a little bit better than the ones that slide down your face that are more jelly-like. My second choice for my products, a hyaluronic and vitamin C night moisturizer. At least if the vitamin C part wears out, the hyaluronic part should stay in after being exposed to the air. This is a blusher. Um, I don't like this cheap or as a packaging, so I probably won't be getting it, or the three brushes. That just, I don't need any face brushes. This looks like a beautiful color for that Fenty Beauty. Um, if I liked lipstick, I would definitely be thinking about that one. And for my third set of choices, another four products to pick from. Wait, is that an eyeshadow palette that's completely neutrals with one splash of blue in it? Wow, I wonder who came up with that idea. I haven't seen that before. Amazing. However, that is what I'm picking because I don't want a bag of skincare. I'd like a little makeup. So if that's all they're going to offer me, even though I ask for adventurous makeup, I guess that's what I'm going to get. This is a brow product. I've gotten at least two of these from Ipsy before in different colors. And an eye cream. I definitely don't need another eye cream. So this is what I've went with, bag of skincare with one eyeshadow palette. These are your $50 products that you can choose from. I'm going to zoom in a little bit so you can see a little bit more in that bag. Don't forget you can speed up or slow down this video. While this wouldn't be bad for $50, the idea that they're claiming that it's worth $172 for a flat iron and one anti-frizz finishing cream is crazy. All right, the $25 bundles. Okay, this trophy skin instrument might be actually interesting. It says that it has microcurrent. I love microcurrent. I would usually go with a brand I trusted like the Clear Blend Mini, um, but it also says it has red light therapy, which again, I'm going to be more inclined to trust a brand I know like Light Stem over this, but it's still, um, for $25, this definitely might be worth a shot. However, this is not. I think that home microneedling is a great way to have everyone out there have sensitive skin all of a sudden and have them have no idea why and having spread bacteria all over their face. Terrible idea to do home needling. And next up, they've added some jewelry, which I think is kind of fun for them. And then this is the $18 add-on size. Lots of fun things in there. A couple of interesting ones like that eyeshadow palette is at least pretty. There's a set of deodorant. I've been searching for a favorite deodorant for quite some time now. That might be interesting. 
This eyeshadow palette, why wouldn't they have offered me something like that? Again, they don't pay attention to our profiles, or I think they would have. Um, these lashes, I tried to look a little deeper for you to see what they were made out of. It doesn't seem to say. We have no idea then if they're hurting little minks just to get some lashes out. The $12 add-ons are here. I did add on this Olaplex um, number zero. I use this anyway, and so if I can get it and save a couple of dollars, um, it's a good way to do it. You put this on your dry hair before you actually shower for your conditioning treatment. If you have a dry or aging skin and you're not sleeping on a silk or at least satin pillowcase, um, you really should consider it. Otherwise, you're kind of just wiping your face with cotton all night long and wondering why you wake up feeling dry. The silk and satin pillowcases are much nicer for your skin and for your hair. However, I believe you can get them cheaper um, and silk would be a better way to go and you get those for about this price or you can get satin ones at the Dollar Tree. And zeroing in on these, you only get three of these face masks. Just wanted to make sure you knew that. The $3 deluxe size samples, I always like to look at those. Sometimes you get very good deals in this area. For instance, I bought the tweezers from them a couple of different times. This time they have them in the lilac color. I only have mine in the gold, but they are some of the best tweezers I have ever received. Okay, notice they tell me that my bag is worth $304. Um, I guess that's with the add-ons because what they're sending me for the $25 is just worth $250. And let's break that down. Who would spend $250 on those products? No one that I know. Again, I have a nice jade stone that I got from BoxyCharm for $3. I can give them the $16 for the hair product if they want. But um, for those other three products, that eyeshadow palette is not that pretty. <laughs> um, and... I think anyone with any eyeshadow palettes have all of those colors. It seems very boring. And then two extremely expensive face serums that we'll just have to wait and see if it's worth it, I guess. If you share your link, um, next month you can get a $3 deluxe sample for free along with some points. I'll put my link in the bottom in case anybody wants it. This is the bag this next month. I don't think it's that great, but I'm sure a lot of people would like it. And... This is what you could get with the points that you have this month. Nothing special. And they haven't even sent me what I redeemed last month. I don't know if I need to reach out or if it usually takes them more than a month to send it out. Hit that like button on your way out and thank